guys uh, welcome back to my channel my name is Frances I actually wanted to get on here today and do this fun tag I saw a few people do it uh, Ivana did it um, uh, uh, Dee Dee Bean did it also Caleb Snell did it and there's a whole bunch of people did this video and it's um, how popular like it's five handbags you pick five of your top rated handbags on YouTube. And so I thought, oh gosh, that's going to be really fun to do. So I'm going to, you know, go back in my history and find out which were the most popular handbags. And I was really surprised to see which ones were the most popular in my collection. So um, anyway, and I'm going to link all the people down below that have already done it. And, you know, it would be fun to go if you want to go and check out their um, check out their videos. And the person who created it was um, let's just have a, the actual creator of the tag is AKB Bags. So I will also link her channel down below and definitely watch the creator. And I like to do research and find out who the actual creator of something was. Because when it gets filtered down and someone tags you and then you tag someone, the creator gets lost somewhere. And, you know, it's kind of sad because I've created videos in the past where I didn't get credit for it. And it's nice because, you know, you get inspired and suddenly you create something and then uh, your creation gets lost in the shuffle. So anyway, that's just my little pet peeve. But without uh, doubt, we're going to start. We're going to start with the fifth one work down to number one and that would be the highest rated one on youtube so number five which was a bit of a surprise to me is in fact a coach bag and it came in at 2.1k i just showed this bag recently on my channel in another video and this is in this is called the mickey satchel and it is in the chalk white stunning bag and i would have thought that that would have come in closer to number one but yeah no it didn't it came in at two at 2.1 k 2.1 thousand views that's number five number four is another surprise and it's my Dooney and Burke black on black zip zip satchel this is a super classy gorgeous pebble leather um, bag with feet this one came in at 2.5k views on my channel and this is just a stunning bag it will never go out of style it has the um the gold hardware on it but it's a classy gold and the logo here is a gold plaque and it is um gr like a grommet on to a leather patch and then it is sealed right into the leather so it's not going anywhere it's beautiful it's got the double zips at the top um, it also has a crossbody or a shoulder strap, not a crossbody, it has a shoulder strap, and it's just a stunning bag. So that came in at number four. Now, number three is another bag that you probably haven't seen me show much lately, and it is the Michael Kor Astor. And it's in silver hardware, it's got these beautiful grommets silver chains with the leather strap on the top to hold over the shoulder super comfy bag softest leather this and coach do beautiful soft 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 almost like lambs leather um this was back when michael kors excelled themselves with the quality of their bags everything about this bag is stunning it is still like brand new although it has traveled all over Europe with me. Um, it's got the covers on the corners, which I like. It's got like the piping on the corners. Uh, it opens up both sides with magnets. So you have a pocket here and a pocket here. 
and then a full zip that opens up inside it has a zip pocket here and then it has two pockets on this side just a stunning bag that comes in at 2.8 thousand views and that is number three number two I do not no longer have I'm going to put a picture of it up here and it's the Michael Kors zip top tote in Safiana leather and I believe it's in the color luggage and as I say I'll put a picture of it here I owned two of those bags back in the day it was a gorgeous gorgeous bag don't know why I got rid of it. I just felt it was too big for me. And then I also got rid of the other one, which was in a dove gray. So it came in at a whopping 8.4 thousand views on Michael Kors. So yeah, so very interesting. And number one, can you guys even begin to guess what number one is? Do you think it's a Dooney and Burke? no it's not a Dooney and Burke it's a coach bag it is my little coach Kelsey in the color um fuchsia I believe this is in the color fuchsia it's a Kelsey uh it has no feet on the bottom it has lovely beautiful soft leather it's gold hardware, which is not my favorite, but I do love it. Um, it has the lovely gold, um, which is pressed right into the leather. And it has a crossbody strap that goes from here to here, which makes it super comfortable. Comes with this little leather um, coach uh, tag on the side. Great hardware full zip you'll not believe what this one came in at have a guess this little coach kelsey came in at 13000 views and that is my number one handbag isn't that incredible i would have really thought that the dooney and burke would have come in over coach Michael Kors, um, yeah, so these are all Coach and Michael Kors and Dooney and Burke, which I think are the only ones I own with the exception of a few Tiganello. Uh, and they didn't rate anywhere near as high as these bags. But when I checked this and I saw 13,000, I was blown away. So that's my tag, guys. Um, interesting to see just exactly what people are out there looking at what they're interested in and if you have um, a collection of handbags which i'm sure a lot of my viewers have and i'm actually going to tag someone that i know has many many handbags and she has a fabulous channel and her name is lv luxy girl so I'm tagging you to do this if you're not already tagged. And if you are, still let me know um, when, when or if you do it. But there's no pressure. But I think you would be really good at doing this tag. So thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little fun tag video. I love these little videos. They're just so much fun to do. And I will see you all in the next video. And as I always say, don't let anyone ever dull your spark. Bye.